So welcome back after the Easter break. Hope you've had a, a strange but restful time. Um, we're going to look at something called a Sierpinski's Triangle. Some people call it a Sierpinski or Sierpinski. I'm going for Sierpinski because it's easy to say. He was a Polish mathematician um, and he came up with this fractal structure uh, in about, I'm going to say 1915 to 20, something like that. But it dates back uh, a lot further, as all these things I do. Um, they say evidence of it in 13th century Italy. And a Polynesian gasket, is called as well, was about 300 BC. So it's, uh, it's been around for a long while, this, this pattern. But it's only really recognised as a structure in about 1915. Okay, so we're going to construct a um, triangle. And we're going to do an equilateral triangle, which means all angles are equal and all sides are equal. We can use protractors and compasses to do this. We've learned how to do this before, but I'm just going to keep this nice and simple and just use a ruler. And just a simple way of doing this is I've just got 16 centimetres. So I always do my lines, put my markings onto there. I'm going to mark halfway along the line, which is eight. Do a vertical line, construction line straight up, roughly about this. 90 degrees, I'm not measuring anything on here. And then obviously because that's 16, put a pencil on here, move to 16, and then just rotate until it touches the top line. And, and then that's, should be 16 long. And obviously, because it's an equal to triangle, this was 16 as well. Okay, so a nice simple way of drawing an equilateral triangle. This bit's out. Obviously we can do it exactly right by using our protractors and trying to get our angles at 60 degrees and work it out and you're using your compasses at the right le lengths but this one works just to off this okay so we're going to divide each of these lines into two so that's eight and 60 divided by two is eight and i'm going to move to my pen now so this stands out a little bit better Okay, so we've got our first basis on there. We're going to take this fractal down again. So we're going to half this one. So this time it's going to be four, four. Okay, so we've got our subsets here. We're now going to divide these ones here. So we're going to keep these central ones, these ones here, with nothing in them. So we're going to move to the outside of this one now. So this one was obviously four, so it's going to be two. And then we're going to go to half this again, so I'm just going to put, roughly put half marks onto these ones. You can measure if you would like to, but at this stage I like the freestyle. It also looks quite nice if you don't actually use a ruler and just draw these. And then we're going to go for the, for the next one down, which will be here. Yeah, yeah. And you can see how this is building up. Each one of these ones are going to be on the outside of here. So we've got a sub blank one in the middle. And now I'm going to keep quiet now and draw. Okay, I've just gone over these bits in pen at the moment. And then I'm just going to Carry on doing the fractals. I'll put some music on and you can watch. Okay, that's the first round of the 
Sapinski's gasket or triangle. And you can see now we can go down an extra stage on there. You can keep it like this. <coughs> it's also really nice to colour parts of it in. So you can, can do patterns in here as well. So I'll pick out patterns in here with different colours on these bits. And you can get really attractive mosaics.